Hey you guys, it's your girl T. So I want to go ahead and talk about the whole Amber Rose controversy. So Amber Rose is meeting up with E.T. and she's doing an interview and once again she's talking about the Kardashians. But this time she's saying that, you know, she forgives Chloe. She has no beef with her and she wants to make up. I want you guys to go ahead and check out this interview that she did with E.T. and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. We're hashtagging Amber Rose Slut Walk. So tell me about why it was so important for you to promote this and the message behind it. Um, it's important for me because I deal with it every day. I deal with it via social media, um, people out on the street. They don't quite understand uh, why I post what I post and how I speak on social media. I've um, just recently dealt with that with my ex saying that he had to take 30 showers um, after he's been with me. We were happy when we were together and now all of a sudden I'm getting slut shamed because we're not together anymore and it's unfair. And I feel like women deal with that constantly on a daily basis and um, I'm sick of it. And I'm here for my girls and we're going to do the Amber Rose Slut Walk this summer and it's going to be awesome. Where are you going to do it? I'm going to do it in LA this year and hopefully New York, Chicago, Miami, like branch off next year. All right. How are you and Khloe Kardashian? She can come to my slut walk too. <laughs> I mean, I don't hate Chloe. I don't hate her. I was kind of, you know, it's kind of, this is the thing, okay. Because I was a dancer at a very young age, yes, I could have totally minded my business when it came to her sister, her younger sister and her relationship. But me being a dancer at such a young age, dealing with older men, gave me the humility and knowledge to speak on such a subject. So I can understand why it came across the wrong way to her. I get it, but that's a phone call she could have had with me. She didn't have to tweet 11 times and try to humiliate me when the only reason why these girls have careers is because their older sister had a little fun on tape. Let's be realistic, which I never ever hated on that. I'm all for a woman making something out of nothing. You know what I mean? I'm, if you can do something and bring your entire family on and make millions of dollars, that's dope to me. I love that. But I feel like because Kim is dating my ex, it's just kind of weird. But I would love for them to, to reach out to me. We can talk. I don't have a problem with those girls. So everybody, so you would love to make up with her because it got a Absolutely. little ugly on social media. Yes. Okay. And you're cool with Kim and Kanye together the whole... 100%. Okay. 100%. Okay. I just watched her interview. Um, you know, I like Amber Rose for the most part, but I'm not no Amber Rose fan like some of these black girls are out here. They will go hard for Amber, then they go for their own damn children. I'm not that chick. At the end of the day, yes, Amber Rose is a beautiful woman, but I can't take her seriously at times. My thing is for her to have a slut walk um, in the manner in which she's having it, to me, kind of comes off as attention whoring. Okay, she's talking about Kanye tried to shame her, you know, once they broke up because he said that he had to take 30 showers after sleeping with her. And we all know her baby's father is dragging her, you know, in his new song. He's going off on her on Instagram. So she posts a lot of pictures on Instagram degrading herself. Not so much her, how she's posed, because she has an amazing body, regardless if she paid for it, if it's her own body, I think she has a nice shape. But the captions that she uses tend to bother me. The whole, yeah, I'm a slut, I'm a hoe, I'm a milf, I'm a bad bitch. And my thing is, at the end of the day, you have a son. So if you're calling yourself that, if that's how you're seeing yourself, and you can try and play it off like it's just in jest, I'm just letting people know that what they say don't bother me, you can try and play it like that if you want to, but at the end of the day, you're a mother. And so your son has to grow up and he's gonna learn how to read. And you know, these are the words that you're calling yourself. So if you're looking at yourself like a slut and like a hoe and you don't care what people say, how's your son supposed to respect other women? You know what I'm saying? Like your son is gonna be somebody's boyfriend, somebody's husband hopefully one day. How's he supposed to look at women when you're his mother and you're calling yourself that? You know, to me, calling yourself a slut and a whore is not empowerment. Taking a beautiful picture of yourself, you know, I take pictures on Instagram. You guys see me. I was showing off my stomach this weekend. I don't give a damn. I'm proud of my body and I'm going to show it off. 
you know so I take pictures too but you'll never see a caption me saying you know, I'm a bad bitch and you know I'm a slut I'm a milf check it, it's not that serious you know what I'm saying I post a picture write a caption I keep it moving you know I, I feel like I feel like she's gone through a lot you know stuff like that she's trying to build something off of her personality off of this brand that Kanye helped her if it was not for Kanye there would be no Amber Rose point blank you know, she would still be in the Philadelphia strip club, possibly stripping, okay? And I feel like there's also some jealousy there. She can say that she's happy for Kim and Kanye, but I feel like there is some animosity there because at the end of the day, Kim came up the same way she did. Not growing up, but Kim got known because of her sex tape. And my thing is, you can't say that you're against slut shaming, but in the same breath, you were slut shaming Kim for having that sex tape. You was going off on Instagram. You know, you were saying that Khloe Kardashian's father was OJ Simpson. You were saying a lot of really foul stuff. So you, in the same breath, were slut shaming, and now you're trying to tell people not to slut shame you. You, you can't have your cake and eat it too. You can't throw daggers and then when they come back at you, now you want to play innocent. At the end of the day, the whole slut walk is nothing new. The reason why the slut walk was put together is not because of Amber Rose. It, was started, in two, it started in 2011. A woman on a college campus said that she was raped. And when she went to the authorities, they basically you know, made it seem like it was her fault. And they were saying that if she wasn't dressed like a slut, she wouldn't have been raped. And that's where they came up with the slut walk. This is for victims of rape. You know what I'm saying? Who are made to be ashamed, who are made to be like sluts because of what they're wearing. You know what I'm saying? So I don't like the fact that she's trying to twist what was a really good movement into something about her because now it comes out to me that it's kind of more self-serving. You know, like you're trying to say that you're doing this because you should be allowed to post what you want to post on Instagram and be able to caption what you want to caption, which is fine and dandy, but you shouldn't hijack a movement. For something that's based on rape and how women are being treated by some police departments and by some college campus police, that was a serious movement and I think she cheapens it by trying to make it about her and Instagram and posting pictures and about her exes talking shit about her you know so I just wasn't really too much feeling the interview besides her accent I love her accent she's from Philly one of my best friends is from Philly so every time I hear her talk she reminds me of my homegirl but you know I just think Amber Rose needs to find something to do I think she needs to stop talking about the Kardashians she needs to just go do her you know what I'm saying and stop worrying so much about what people think stop trying to prove yourself stop trying to prove that you're not a slut or that words don't hurt you if they didn't hurt you you wouldn't have to keep reiterating those same words and calling yourself those same derogatory terms that's response to people who are negative who are mean who try and down you is no response at all and I talked about that this past Sunday on Facebook when I posted um, what I posted about people who feel the need to judge me, question me about things I wear, how I talk, things I do. You know, my response to all of that is no response at all. I'm not on trial. I'm not in the court of law, and I don't know, and I don't owe anybody any explanation. As long as I'm not hurting you, hurting myself, you know what I'm saying, doing something that's unbecoming of me, I owe nobody no explanation for why I watch Empire. I owe nobody no explanation for why I wear my hair, I hair how I wear it. I owe nobody no explanation for how I dress. And I think Amber Rose should have the same stance. Do you, boo? Don't explain yourself. Don't slut shame yourself. Don't belittle yourself to get back at these so-called haters. Just do you. So anyways, go ahead and leave a comment, y'all. Let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. How do you feel about Amber Rose's interview with E.T.? Are you buying it? How do you feel about her trying to take over the whole slut walk thing, but making it about her as opposed to making it about the rape victims? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Let me know your thoughts on the entire situation. All right, deuces.